Let's talk about using a joystick light on a verbal setup to indicate the position of the Y axis. And we'll talk about why you'd want to do that. In a previous video I showed how we can use the dampers on the CM3 base to create a stick that won't move on the Y axis. This allows you to use it like an omnidirectional throttle. And allows you to use hands-on stick and stick while maintaining benefits of a throttle. With the right spring, cam, and clutch settings, it's possible to make the stick hold in place and still be able to field the center. However, it's not perfect and being able to detect when you're actually centered in case that it slipped one way or the other in between the last time you centered the stick is a useful backup option. In particular, I find this very useful for takeoff and landing in order to make sure that you're absolutely set to idle. Fortunately, there's an easy way to configure this in the Verpal software. The first thing we need to do is set up some virtual buttons using some axis ranges. I'm setting these to axis 2, or the Y axis, and I'm defining the ranges. One will be from 50 to 50% to indicate the center, and the other will be from 0 to 49%, so we can tell when the stick is being pulled back. The reason we want to be able to have a second color to indicate when the stick is being pulled backwards instead of being pushed forward is so that we can know how to correct the error where the stick is not centered, so that we can tell which way we need to move the stick in order to center it. As otherwise, it's not intuitively easy to feel this with the stick being held in place. Once those are set up, we can see the button configuration. Make note of these numbers as we're going to be using them to set the color of the LED. The next step is to go to the LEDs and use those buttons that were set up from the button configuration and set each LED color. Make sure you select the LED that you want from the dropdown and then set the color. I've tried to pick colors that are distinct enough to pick out from the corner of my eye and that also match my setup. Once that is all set up, we can save to the device. It'll reboot and then it'll operate with the light that indicates the position of the Y axis. Hopefully that's useful for those of you out there who are using a Verpal CM3 base as an omnidirectional throttle with the Y axis being held in place. If you like the video, please let me know. If you have some other ideas on how you could use this, also leave a comment. And of course, if you want more content like this and gameplay, please don't forget to subscribe.